another episode of the Art Bros. Another scary, spooky Art Bros. <laughs> Guys, it's still October. I'm going to continue with this haunting artworks thing that we got going on. And today, jump right into it. Um, today, we're going to be talking about Francis Bacon's portrait of Pope Innocent X. Um, Mike Hugh, Patrick, Fancy Dave. Here. Yep. All here, all present. And ready to go. Guys, look at this thing. It's just creepy. look at it. It's creepy. Yeah. This might be the scariest painting we've done all month. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, so... Well, we're talking about a Francis Bacon thing. Like, Yo, this these guy. people, these people, these listeners, they're gonna shit their pants right now. <laughs> That's our aim. Right? It's gonna be a theme. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's gonna be a theme. It's a, theme. a lot of poop. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of poop. So, guys... Uh, for those of you who don't know, Francis Bacon, this style he's got going on right here with this portrait is very similar to the other stuff that he does. It's very um, cryptic, very mm-hmm. morbid. Morbid. Yeah, I think morbid's a good word. Shocking. Shocking. I think grotesque, you know, like super gro- gro- grotesque. I find, I find this one has a lot more motion, you know, if, mm-hmm. if anything, than, than the other ones. But that's just, uh, that's obviously because of the brushwork and all that, because it's, uh, it almost seems like there's a like pretty strong vertical theme to like all the brush strokes and all that so yeah yeah yep. so this this is based on a portrait that was done in 1650 um it was but this portrait was made in 1953 mm-hmm. so we're talking about a good 300 years later um it is oil on canvas and like you were mentioning before the way it's painted is so violent mm-hmm. like, look, at all, like, look at the brush strokes look, look how it just looks like he's descending yeah, yeah. falling yeah. I actually see yeah I see I, I see he's um, getting rained on or anything like that yeah I feel like he's grounded and like the, and like things are just shift like I don't know like yeah. almost like he's becoming distorted so if we can show them show the audience what this is based on we see that um, there's been a few little changes. First off, he's not screaming in the original, and his his hands don't look very like constrained to the chair. Gripped, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then we go back to the, the Francis Bacon version. He's screaming. Uh huh. He's screaming, uh, and he looks very like he can't leave the chair. He can't move. Like he like Patrick you mentioned before. Like it looks like he's getting electrocuted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, although, you know, whatever, whatever. So, what do we think about? A pope being used in this. A pope being used in this. Yeah, like, is it an attack on religion? It's, it's kind of hard not to view uh, this as sacrilegious because you're not, like, the subject matter is as such a high figure in, you know, in, in the Catholic yeah, Christian society. Yeah, it's not the highest. Yeah, yeah. Position of, you know, absolute terror, apparently. Mm-hmm. Usually someone who's depicted, usually, like, brighter tone colors, almost like there's a goldy feel to it, but then kind of stoic in a way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But Francis Bacon's like, fuck yeah. that. Fuck that. You know, I'm just gonna make this guy look look like he's in excruciating pain. Like a mortal. Yeah. You know, he's not godly like you Like make he's him. in hell? Yeah. Like he's in the hell. That, yeah, yeah, like, that's yeah, good. He's yeah, in, yeah. He's in hell. You know, that's all, that's what the Catholic Church is about. Like, you can't, you would never imagine the Pope being subjected to this because he's such a godly figure. He's going to heaven. But here, it looks like he's caught in hell. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like ironic as well. It's kind of like, well, here's your godly figure who you thought, you know, you could emulate and whatnot, and he's being tortured in hell just like the rest of us. Mm-hmm. So how godly is he really? And I also find it in- interesting, like the throne that he sits upon, it's like that gold, that it's like that highlighter yellow that's just like completely different from what everything else is going on, you know? I think that's um, kind of, um, I interpret it as like the, the one of the sins is to like, you know, be greedy and like you know greediness comes with money okay and like if he's sitting on a gold throne in hell mm-hmm. well that kind of just symbolizes that you know like if yeah. the catholic church they they every, every their church some of them are made out of gold and whatnot and that's kind of like breaking one of the cardinal uh, cardinal rules mm-hmm. in itself so it it's it's kind of like you got greed you got pride mm-hmm. and all that yeah. there yeah and yeah. all that is associated with gold yeah yeah so, I know, yeah, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely interesting, kind of like to have these two contrasts of, you know, what like we said before, high holy figure. Yeah. He's, he's, it looks like he could be in hell, you know. Yeah, you know what's funny? You don't know. Yeah, you know, what's funny is the last painting we were talking about, um, the nightmare. We were kind of making jokes and stuff because you know it was creepy. This one, I don't really know any jokes because it's just fucking scary. Hmm. This is when uh, you're sitting in the theater and like the IMAX thing cuts up like. Yeah. 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 
It's just so loud. And, yeah. With those speed lines, it could be moving fast. Oh, yeah. And, you know, mm -hmm. like in an anime. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What if he's falling into hell? Falling, yeah. Like, you know, in Bioshock uh, Infinite, you get strapped to the chair and get sent right up. Yeah. What yeah. if this is like he's getting sent down? Oh, yeah. Strapped on the chair. I go with the uh, powering up theory, like the DBZ. He's <laughs> DBZ <laughs> <laughs> charging. There you go. This Never mind about the Battle jokes. of the Gods 2. <laughs> Never mind about the jokes, by the way. You know, obviously, there's plenty of room for them. <laughs> so, uh, Dave, <laughs> what is your take on My take? Yeah, do you have any. Uh. Oh, well, I'm always fascinated by his, by Francis Bacon's like uh, obsession with screaming. Yeah, I mean, because it's such a primordial thing, and here's this man of like a, you know, higher standing being subjected to this, you know, primal stance. Yeah, that's a good screaming. Point. Like, like, what the hell's caught him in this state of terror? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I really do appreciate Francis Bacon's paintings and his style. Just, it's, you know, it's like Tim Burton, fucking eat your heart out, you know? <laughs> like, this is how it's done, this is how... He is, I think, a master of just terror. A master of morbidity, a master of... Especially in, in painting. You know, um, he's got a lot of paintings similar to this. He's got, I think, paintings that are scarier than this, too. Uh, but we chose this one just because of all, like... The, you know, the religious it's, connotations. It's very direct. This one's creepy. Yeah. It's but pretty direct. I also want to, like, touch up on, like, the transparency of, of the Pope as well. Because you you can actually see through him. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you can see through the background. So I almost feel like I'm I'm watching him getting, di like, I don't know, disintegrated. Disintegrated. You know? Or, like, what I think is, like, I say more as, like, a, a haunted ghost approach. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is kind of like a specter of a Pope. Mm -hmm. You know, like, imagine, oh my god. Actually, imagine. it's probably, yeah, it's probably more ghost-like than no, actually I, physical I, pain. I know? think, what I think, too, the disintegration thing is a good theory because, you know, in hell, you get, you know, God smites the wicked. Yeah. And this is kind of like, maybe this is his take on God smiting Pope, mm -hmm. who's just as wicked as everybody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we're not attacking your religion, people. We are analyzing a piece. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> Christian. Like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Final thoughts, guys. Final thoughts? Yeah. It's creepy. Mm -hmm. And I bet this would make a good paperweight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would love to have this in my front door. Just like, you know, just put it up there. Not not like when you come in, just on my door. Uh -huh. Like, yeah. come on in, guys. <laughs> this is usually me after, like, this, the most recent episode. I want it in front that. of my bed, so every time I wake up, I'm up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Patrick after, like, the big box at Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> just on the toilet, on, on my throne. Just dominating it. Right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for joining us in this episode. We'll uh, bring. We'll be back next week with more scary paintings. Mm -hmm. So like us if you haven't already on Facebook and subscribe to subscribe. this. Yep. Subscribe. Yep. We would love that. Uh, guys, peace out. See you next time. And uh, boo. Boo. <laughs>